Okay, in this episode of Tide Pool Tim, we are going to look for mummy chogs in this little pool. If you see the ripples, these little fish hang out in great big schools of hundreds. If you look down through, you'll see the them coursing around. We're going to take this net and see how many we can get. One of the key features of the mummy chogs is rounded tail. They have very small fins, almost look like a tadpole, a polywog. See that rounded tail? Oh, there's a bunch of them. The temperature of the ocean right now is only about 54 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this little pool, and I'll put my feet in, you can feel it. It's at least 75, maybe 80 degrees, and these little fish are able to withstand these warm temperatures. And with the warm temperatures, there's not very much oxygen. So. That is what makes this fish able to live in areas with little or no oxygen for long periods of time. Oh, we've got quite a few. Now these guys eat a little bit of everything and anything they can find. In fact, they'll even eat their own eggs. But they eat shrimp, worms, other little crustaceans, larvae. I don't think they eat any plant material, but they may. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't eat little tiny crabs. See, see, look, look. see those little ripples? Yeah. Those are the mummy chugs. So they, they all kind of nestle in and try and hide. And all I have to do is scoop through with the net and we'll pull up a whole bunch. These are so resilient to like low um, oxygen that uh, ice fishermen in the winter will get some of these. And the way they keep them to go ice fishing is they put a moist paper towel in their pocket with the mm -hmm. fish. No water at all. But yeah, these guys can last hours out of the water. As long as they're moist, you know, they have to stay moist and somehow they're exchanging gases with their gills. Oh boy, look at them, look at them. Ooh. So what I'm saying about these little pools is there is life here, but it's very few species can tolerate and you, you figure if it's raining out, the salinity in this pool, as all the rainwater comes down, it would be almost fresh water. A lot of labs use these fish for various little experiments. One, they're easy to get, they're cheap. You can get lots of them, and they hold up well in a lab. Oh, we got a bunch. Got a bigger one, too. So. Since these guys hang out in the rockweed in the pools, they have little marks along their side which help to camouflage them. Also, they have, rather than a bright, shiny color, they have more of an olive green, which would be the same color or similar to this bladder rack. Now, on the coast of the U.S., mummy chogs get quite big, but in our area, that is probably about the largest you're going to see. And, of course, they range down to little tiny ones. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of Tide Pool Tomb.